Hey, Jeff Howard here from FixMyKite.com and FixMyWing.com. So it's, it's interesting to look at some of these wings. We've had a whole lot of them coming in, and as we all know, there's going to be a lot more coming in. Uh, the market is getting ready to get flooded with these. So we're looking at this wing. This wing comes completely blown out. One of the main handles right here, it's usually the second handle back, is taking almost all of the load um, when guys are riding and you're proficient at riding. Well, this one completely blew out along this seam. And you can see they did some they did some great construction in here. I'm not going to name names. Uh, believe me, we've had a lot of these in here. So they do all this pretty webbing to disperse the load all the way to the top. What we're finding is, is they're not dispersing that load completely to the top. So what happens up here along this edge and many of the wings, this is the final seam. This is taking all the load and it's ripping out along here. So they do the webbing here and it takes that load, which, is, which, which isn't real good. This load has got to be taken all the way up to stitched into the cell. This webbing stops here, goes into the insignia, insignia cloth, and then basically uh, just a standard like kite type seam. But these things are loaded completely different. So we've had some blow out along this seam. Number two is why did this one blow out? Um, there is no cut, there's no nothing. It's always on the center main strut that's taking the load. Well, what's happening here, it's not like a kite that has a bridle to disperse the load across the wing. This is the direct connect and wherever these handles are stitched into here, it looks good on the outside, doesn't it? I mean, you've got webbing here, got um, uh, the tape here, which is not a tape, it's a, um, uh, it's a very thin nylon type webbing, but it's uh, thinner. Um, and then you've got this webbing stitched on this edge. Well, hidden inside, what you don't see, as there's nothing in here to disperse those connections. We got insignia cloth here, but that only helps a little bit. And if it's not stitched along the edges, this stuff will creep and gradually will not even take any of the load that is put onto it. Hopefully we have some of the wing guys, uh, wing manufacturers looking at this. Internally, you've got to put in here a strip of Dacron or something to disperse this load, a larger strip that is stitched in to take partial load and then spread that load down stitching where the handles are connected. You need a backing along there. So this one blew out. I'll give you my prediction. Is the reason it blew out is this is your main connection point. And this seam was taking so much load as this is pulling in and being worked all the time. So once this seam along here failed, then it blew out the rest of the areas along here. You've got to disperse this load. This along the tape and the Dacron. I mean, this stuff is unbelievably strong, but since we don't have a bridle to disperse that load, it goes in directly into those handles. So we've got to build some reinforcement on the internal to disperse that load, and then you won't have any problems. We'll repair this, put it back to its same strength, and then we'll reinforce it where this customer will not have this problem again with this wing. Um, and that's what we try to do here is to make things better, stronger, if it comes in here for repair. Anyway, that's Jeff Howard here at FixMyKite.com and FixMyWing.com.